Hey there guys, I'm Sonic Ghost and welcome back to some more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. Last time, we went ahead and made our preparations to enter our next world in the game, Grunty Industries. And we're back here in Glitter Gulch Mine, right in front of the train station here. Simply because, during some of our preparations, we need to do some stuff in this world. But, we need to actually unlock the train station in Grunty Industries to get into the world. So now with that said, let's go ahead and enter the train and make our way over to our next world in the game. So let's go ahead, scroll down the Grunty Industries, and let's get out of here. It's time for us to actually make our way into World 6 properly. Welcome to Grunty Industries. At least, the innards of Grunty Industries. We're already seeing how the outside of this world looks, which is very dark and gloomy. And that makes a lot of sense, because Grunty Industries is a factory here. So, yeah, this place, you're not gonna expect to have bright and colorful areas here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and jump onto this box here, and I'm gonna go ahead, backflip, and grab this ledge. I'm doing this simply because it gets me over here to the spring pad a lot quicker. And I want to just go ahead and shimmy my way over here onto this pole. Climb up because this will be a little bit faster. Because up here is a honeycomb piece. As you can see how you're supposed to get over here is by just climbing up the stairs over on that side. But I just skipped the step because I can go ahead and grab the wall which makes things a little bit easier. Alert. Intruders detected. Activate the tin tops. So, as you can see here, we definitely hit some kind of alarm, and these enemies here, these will infinitely spawn. So, if you're in a certain area, these guys will just keep on coming out trying to attack you. So, if you want to stop these guys from spawning, a showcase, this is what happens when you kill one. I just destroyed one of these creatures, and now another one comes right back out. So, I want to go ahead and back my way out a little bit. And here, as you can see, there's a security camera. So, if I try to shoot the camera, if my homie eggs don't home it out on these other guys, I take out the Tim Tups here, and now nothing else can spawn. So there you go. That's how you take those guys out. If you want to properly destroy the Tim Tups, you have to get rid of the security cameras too. So let's just go ahead and get our notes and get out of here. Because that camera will come back after a little bit, so I don't want to give it a chance to respawn. But here we are. This is the first floor here of Grunty Industries. This is a multi-floored world. This is a pretty big area, so... We're gonna be here for a while. If we go into this room here, this is the basement. And in here, we actually have a locked door up here we can't really interact with right now. So, this area, I wanted to go ahead and enter just to simply showcase what this is. Because we can't get in this locked door for quite some time. So, we'll have to remember this for later, but for now, we just want to go ahead and enter this area so we can go ahead and get some notes. And that's pretty much all we can do here. You can't run on that cylinder that's in the middle of the room either because it moves way too quick. So, if you try to run on that cylinder, you'll just fall right off, so don't even try it. It's too risky. So, back outside of the basement area here. We want to go ahead and make our way up these stairs. And here, we want to go ahead and actually learn ourselves a new move right away. So let's go ahead and top the jam jars. Wear these boots and no more falls as they let you walk up walls. Let me tell you how it's done. Kazooie's footprints, up you run. That'll be all. Dismissed. Yeah, so these shoes actually, we've seen these a couple times throughout our journey. So now we can finally interact with these shoes. So, just like Jam Jar said, we can go ahead and use these new shoes we just learned how to use to go ahead and climb up walls. So this will let us get to areas we normally can't get to in the game all that easily. So, that really helps. And to go ahead and showcase how this works, we're going to go ahead and open up this door here. And now, for starters, we can go ahead and leave Grunty Industries through the main entry point, which really does help. But I want to go ahead and destroy this box because I'm here. 
are our suction cup shoes. So we want to go ahead and take these and run outside. And we want to go ahead and turn the camera around here. And there's a ledge for us to jump over here. With these shoes, we can go ahead and climb up this wall just like so. And that's that. Unfortunately, I kind of slid off there, which was a little unfortunate, but it's all right because honestly, I can just go ahead and get me another pair of shoes. There we go, that's a lot better. This is how we get a triple cleft of the world, so that's that. Very easy. Let's go ahead and make our way through this window we broke open earlier. And as you can see, the camera pans all the way over here to this jiggy just in the middle of the room. So that looks very far away, and you may think, I can't reach this yet. I need a move that will allow me to maybe glide over there, Kazooie. But no, you can actually just make it by just jumping and then flapping your wings. Intruder alert. Backup required to defend Grunty's treasure. So we need to kill six of these Tim Tups here to go ahead and actually get our jiggy. Which really isn't that hard. Just stay in the corner and just shoot him with grenade eggs. Oh. Intruder has defeated the Tim Tups. Grunty's treasure has been lost. Yeah, so these guys are very, very easy to deal with. So... Just shoot him with a bunch of grenade eggs, and then that is that. It really doesn't take that long to really take those guys out. Took a lot of damage there. It really wasn't that ideal, but honestly, it's not really that big of a deal. So, that should be fine. I want to go ahead and make our way back over to the split-up pads now, because I want to go ahead and put Banjo and Kazooie back together here in just a moment. For right now, I want to actually swap back over to just Banjo by himself here, which is right next to the main entry point here. To the outside portion of Grunty Industries. I want to take Banjo outside here because there is a battery right above where you start here in the world. And I want to go ahead and grab this battery and take it inside. So in order to collect these batteries, you need Banjo by himself here. So you need to go ahead and attack the battery for starters, and then you can shove the battery into your backpack. So you do need to actually explore Pterodactyl Land and learn the move for Banjo to put things into his backpack in order to collect these batteries here. But if you've been following along with this Let's Play at this point, then you should also have this move I used unlocked as well. So, you shouldn't really have any issues at this point if you're here in Grunty Industries. So, we'll just go ahead, take out that enemy, and let's make our way over here to this giant little contraption on the other side of the room. Because I want to go ahead and place my battery in this area. Access denied. Door has insufficient power to open. Battery required. Well, conveniently for me, I got a battery right here. Additional battery power channeled to door. Access is now granted. So now with that battery, we can go ahead and make our way into this area here. The waste disposal plant. And in here, we got ourselves a new move to learn as Banjo. When you're feeling rather low, I know a place that you can go. LT or RT, ball by right stick, removes your pack. Have a nice nap to get your energy back. That'll be all. Dismissed. Yeah, so now with this move, just like Janjar said, we can go ahead and sleep into our backpack here and we can refill our health. So that wasn't really a good demonstration of it. Let's go ahead and actually show this proper. So I just jumped down below here, and now we just go ahead and get away from that enemy real quick. I wanna go ahead and sleep in my pack. And as you can see, I got my health back while those guys trying to suffocate me, which doesn't make things any better. Can you please stop suffocating me? I'm trying to explore here, buddy. But yeah, that's what your new move does here at Banjo. You can go ahead and get your energy back very easily by just sleeping in your bag now and that's honestly one of the better moves for banjo by himself because as long as you keep your distance from enemies then you should be able to keep on sleeping to your backpack and getting all your health back in an instant so that is a really good move for banjo but now we want to go ahead and hit the switch here to raise up all this toxic goop because we need that for later if we go ahead and enter our first person view here, and we go ahead and zoom the camera in, as you can see, there is a jiggy on the other side of this room. 
and there's a banjo only switch over there we need to go ahead and hit which will unlock the jiggy we can't get to that jiggy just yet that's gonna be a jiggy we'll have to come back for much later so for now we'll have to remember that is there but we'll have to leave it alone since we can't do anything with that jiggy at this time hey buddy how's it going can you just please get out of my way thank you so before we put banjo and kazooie back together we have one more thing we need to do with banjo by himself and that's entering this little area over here in the corner so in this room here this is the trash compactor intruder in the trash compactor clean up droids report to floor one as soon as we enter this area activates itself and this is a very very deadly room watch what happens we walk right into one of these crushers besides your model getting oddly clipped by the camera you lose all your health but one hp so this is why we need to have our sleeping move here with banjo because we need to have something to restore back our hp in this room otherwise this would kill us trying to get over to this banjo switch luckily since this room only takes you down to your last honeycomb piece you want to go ahead and just sleep a bit just to get some of your energy back you don't have to get it all back but you do need to use the move to get some of it back and as you can see here when i'm trying to like make a very long jump here by using banjo's backpack to get an extra double jump out of this i can't really use that to get onto the other side of that contraption safely so that is something you also have to keep in mind too this move is basically required to get that jiggy there's no other way around it well there you go that's another jiggy into our arsenal now so doing pretty good here so far we already get ourselves two jiggies one with kazooie by herself and one with banjo by himself so they both did something pretty good so with that said let's go ahead and put the two back together because now we're done with having these two separated so i'm gonna go ahead make a way over here real quick I want to jump up to this ledge here because I want to go ahead and climb over to get those notes. I don't want to fall off here. It's a good thing I did my backflip when I did. I'm going to wait here as you can see. Electricity do come out of these pipes so you don't want to go too fast in this area because you will get zapped and it'll push you right off. So I want to jump down here, get these notes. And as you can see here, there is a fire exit that can go ahead and take us outside. So we'll keep that in mind for later. We can't really get to that area just yet, but... It is something we'll be getting to here in due time. So, let's go ahead and make our way over into this area here, into the workers' quarters. In this area, there really isn't much for us to do, but we want to go ahead and use our grenade eggs here and look around because, as you can see, there's some Tim Tups here, and I want to see where the camera is. There you go. Go ahead and take that out so we don't have to worry about any robots trying to attack us. And right here, if you take a look at the bathroom doors... This one's occupied, as you can see. So, we can't get into this one at all. Someone's doing their deed. But here, this door is cracked. So if we go ahead and shoot a grenade egg, we see an old friend here from Banjo-Kazooie. Hey there, Banjo. Logo, what are you doing here? Well, Grunty ripped me out of her mansion and stuck me in here. Boy. You should see the mess some of those workers make. I don't want to know. Anyway, someone thought it'd be funny to fill me full of paper. I really need unblocking, if you wouldn't mind. We do, actually. I'm sorry, Kazooie. This must be done. Did that help? Yep, I can feel movement in my unbent. You better stand back. This could be messy. It's a Cheeto book page? No use to me, though. I only like the quilted stuff. I guess you can have it. So that's how you get a Cheeto page here. Not the cleanest way to get a Cheeto page, but... Eh, it's still a Cheeto page in an arsenal. Look at the state of my overalls. I'll be in real trouble if I can't find a way of getting them clean. Yeah, these guys are very filthy. Ooh. I mean, this guy seriously looked like he just... Well, 
He is maybe the one who tried to unclog Glago and had no success. Because he looked like he had a hard time there in the bathroom. We can't do anything with those workers just yet. There's going to be a couple of those rabbits throughout this world, we'll see. And we can't do anything to clean them at this point. But there will be something we can do later to help them out. So we'll remember that for the future. For now, let's go ahead and use our new claw shoes here and climb up this wall. And go ahead and take them off at this point since we don't need them. Turn around the camera here. And we got two spring pads we can go ahead and interact with. Let's go ahead and use this one here first. And this one's really not that helpful if you want to be honest. It just gets you some extra eggs if you need a refill. I do need me some more grenade eggs, so I'll just go ahead and grab me some of those while we're here. And now let's go ahead and jump into this little cylinder room. Because you want to jump into here to get to floor two. So now we're into a new section of Grundy Industries. And here we can go ahead and see through this window. And there's some way we can get into this area from the outside from the looks of things. And then there's this random little block here on the floor that's screwed in. We'll have to remember that for later. But for now, let's go ahead and continue on. I hear myself a Globo, so I want to go ahead and grab that. And we're right next to a Wubba Hut here, so we can go ahead and interact with that if we want, but for now, we're not going to be doing that. Here, I'm actually going to go ahead and make my way down this hallway, because down here, I want to go ahead and open this box, grab me some shoes here to climb the wall, and I want to climb up here, because I want to go ahead and jump over this gap. We could have climbed over on the pipe there, but I just wanted to go ahead and jump, because it'd be quicker. I want to mainly do all that just to get into this little hallway and hit that button. That is very important for later, so you want to make sure you hit that button now. It'll definitely save you a lot of time and some headache later on. We got another pair of shoes here if you need them, but I don't really need them at this point, so I'm going to just go ahead and dismiss them right away. I'm going to get me some more notes here, and let's get out of this room before these guys want to go ahead and electrocute me. It's not a good place to be. Here I'm going to go ahead and just take you out. And we got ourselves a pipe here we can go ahead and climb up. So let's go ahead and do so. Very careful not to get zapped in the process. And I'm going to go ahead and grab me this note right here. And as you can see, we have ourselves a Cheeto page here as well. So definitely looks like another case where we can get into that room from somewhere outside. And then we're back here on the second floor to get ourselves a Cheeto page. So definitely remember that for the future. For now, let's go ahead and swap over to Kazooie, because there is something here we can go ahead and do with Kazooie by herself. Kazooie has a new move to learn in this world as well, so let's go ahead and grab those claw shoes from before, and let's go ahead and scale this wall over here in this side of the room. Very careful not to get suffocated with gas, because that won't be pleasant. Jumping up here, we'll have ourselves a little cutout here for Jam Jar, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Want this one? I think you might. It'll greatly increase your jumping height. Hold down LT or RT and then press A. Bend your legs and be on your way. That'll be all. Dismissed. So now Kazooie basically learned how to do a backflip of her own. So now we can go ahead and jump at a much higher height here with Kazooie, which will make getting certain things like this Jinjo a lot easier so definitely good to keep that in mind so let's go ahead and swap over to banjo by himself here because as you can see there is a battery here we want to go ahead and collect so let's go ahead and do so salt the battery wrap it into our backpack and let's get out of here I like how you just say that too when you say assault the battery it almost sounds like you're just trying to say assault and battery like it's a crime like Banjo's just committing a crime grabbing this battery. It's pretty dark when you think about it. That's not what we're doing. Instead, we wanted to take this battery here and we want to go ahead and use it for this area. So let's go ahead and take the battery out of our backpack and open up this chamber. Additional battery panel will channel the door. Access is now granted. So there you go. We can enter that area, but for now, let's just go ahead and jump back down here. Take a little bit of fall damage, which really won't be that big of a deal. Get suffocated by this gas, which again, not that big of a deal, because if I get near this doorway, it just stops chasing me for some reason. But I want to go ahead and make my way down here to the very bottom of floor one, because here, for starters, we go ahead and hit this button, which will open up the back door here to Gretney Industries. 
and this is where we're going to go. I want to take Banjo out here by himself because there is actually something here we need to have both characters separated to do. So breaking up in this box, as you can see, there is a switch for us to hit. And when we stand on the switch, the camera will pan all the way up to the top here of this building. And it will unlock a door here on the side, which leads to a Jinjo. The catch here is if I get off the switch, the door will shut. So I need to leave Banjo here, and then I need to swap back to Kazooie. So now with Kazooie, let's go ahead and make our way back outside. And there is going to be a set of claw shoes for us to go ahead and use here with Kazooie to climb the side of the wall. So that is what we're going to want to do. We're going to want to use these new shoes of ours, climb up the side of the building, and collect that Jinjo. So inside this box is our shoes. So let's go ahead and grab these and make our way over to this side here. Climb up to the very top and get ourselves a Jinjo. I don't know how many black Jinjos this will be for us at this point. Let's go ahead and find out. Alright, that's 5 out of 9, so we're about halfway there. Actually, a little over halfway, if you want to be honest. If I go ahead and go my first person view here, I want to go ahead and show that, well, the stars were not close enough to the ledge. That looked a little weird. There is another Jinjo down there, but if I go ahead and shoot it, as you can see, that is not a real Jinjo. That is a Minjo. So, yeah, don't bother with him. We got ourselves some more shoes we can go ahead and use to get down, but I'm actually going to go ahead and take a nice shortcut to get back. Ow. You want to hit me too? Oh, I see how it is. Well, I'm dead. And now we're back here. I want to do this specifically just so we can get back to this portion of Grunty Industries. That was a lot faster than just walking all the way back here. So a nice death warp help, and that's why I don't want to use the fallproof cheat, because sometimes I will want to take fall damage intentionally, so there's that. But now with all of that done, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the episode here. With that said, next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, we'll be entering the electromagnet chamber here and seeing what's inside, and then we'll continue exploring more of Grunty Industries. I'll see you guys next time.